and our Canadian friends who are working on creating a video game regarding climate change. Let me tell you something. When I was a kid, growing up in Nyaka village, everything was green. Everything had seasons. We knew that in March, rains come. In November, rain has come. So my parents and people in the community would plant their gardens in March, harvest around May, everything dries, you eat your food. Around September, they start preparing, knowing that in November, October, rains will come again. Because of climate change, this has affected our people. The seasons are no longer the same. The dry season is longer. Rain season comes short and goes. As a result of this, there is a famine. As a result of this, all swamps have been dug up. The women we work with and the children who live in these communities are affected on a daily basis. Here in the United States, when it happens in Florida, food is shipped and transported to California. In the village where we are coming from, ladies and gentlemen, this climate change has affected the daily living of children and women who work with it. Nyaka as an organization is working hard to plant more trees to make sure that the vegetation is there. Nyaka as an organization now has 100 acres of a forest to make sure that our children are learning about climate effects and changes that are happening, the carbon that... Uh, a carbon prints that we are using in big hotels is being replenished back into the atmosphere by the decisions made in the villages far away from there. So as you get this done, please know we are with you. We thank you for doing this and we hope this game will create more awareness on climate changes around the world and what we, every person can do. Thank you, 60 million uh, 60 million girls. Thank you for everybody who is participating and for all of you young people. We thank you. We appreciate you.